into the Rek'Sai. You can buffer his knockups with your E. If he ults onto you, he ends up behind you, so you can just flip him quite comfortably. Uh, but the Akali coming in for Zekia, so... Okay, thank you, Peanut. Now I'm going to go mid and maybe trying to look towards the top side, but these Krubs are 3,000 plus eventually. As it is Homolife Esports who will pick up the first... Pick like the Akali really helps you to sort of... Okay, gonna try to continue on this play. Keen has no ideas. Now the ping is gonna come out in mid, but might be a bit too late as the Rek'Sai ult. Hard to get away from this one as Keen is just so dead and they're gonna get first blood over to Zekai. On both sides, the Wukong especially, another one of those um, uncleansable CCs. You know, you get knocked up and it's a bit of a rough time for you. You, you can. Haze is a nice spike. We'll have to see how the fight breaks out. All right, well, X Flash over the wall. They want to engage on the Sejuani. Not the best pick, but now the 1v1 in the mid lane as well. And now the Zeri looking to chase down, but the Helios damage over the wall. And now the TP coming in from Keen. But here is Dorn as well, looking to turn it on to the Urgot, who is left all alone. And down he will go as Viper. He pays trying to do damage, and it's very hard to cut through this front line of Hunter Life Esports. And then Keen joined, which is immediately not in the right position. Herthel, this was spotted that they were doing this, but Genji just selecting to let it go. And now Keen is kind of like just alone here. Um, there is a turret, but it's nearly gone. And you would imagine that, yeah, they're just going to turn on to Keen here. The Black Flavor is getting some work done into Doran, but no flash, no help, and no Urgot. He's just dead. Yep, completely isolated here. And Genji might try and look on the other side, but you're trying to dive in Alistair. It's a hard ask. And in the meantime, a second charge comes through. The wave gets cleared out by Zekka, and again, like diving into Kali plus an Alistair, that sounds like a nightmare. So actually, I love this lane assignment for Hunter Life. But they are still going to TP into this one. The light has a fantastic angle. Gen.G fought between a rock and a hard place that Wukong already getting started. They engage on that back line as Pays. He does survive for a bit, and down will go the Zeri, but now Zekka is a huge force to be reckoned with as Toby is left alone on the right side, but there is the fear coming in from Udin from the Urgot, and that should be enough to turn this fight around as Doran is the one to survive, but the rest of his teammates are gone. Yeah, and actually Gen G managed to get a handle in the fight. The value from the Urgot, absolutely massive there. Pegas goes down always, almost immediately, and what looks like an initial good set. Round, but Keen's gonna get some alone time with this bot turret. It's basically already dead, <laughs> but he's gonna last. So <laughs> that's one thing he's got over Pays, I suppose. As a TP. They could back off now and be happy with getting the TP if they wanted. Yeah. Uh, the hook is gonna miss though, and there's the engage the turn onto the Urgot, who is so tanky, but not tanky enough, immediately goes down the turn. The Urgot's doing so much damage with the Aerie Shred. Oh, wait, oh, no. they had a ward. Pays backing in a very precarious spot. He has to flash, and now he's got Nakali on him. He's just dead. Down goes Pays, essentially, for free as now the hands desperate to save his. They're just gonna start the Baron. I mean, no Aphelios, that is Look a how low. huge chunk of damage gone. Look how low Keen and Lahens are already. Yeah, and they can easily turn if they want to. I mean, here we go. There's the turn, a massive Wukong ultimate as the divide is huge from the side of Jovi, but you can't get away from the Akali just right on top of them as they continue, but Jovi is getting huge value. They go so far into the Azir that, uh, you know, I don't think you're gonna be able to take out the Rek'Sai, side. got though. a bunch of stacks on the grass, got that extra safety. And you saw just the constant damage he's putting out in these fights. He is a problem, but he's not one with an easy solution. The Hunter Life Esports are still really far away from the soul. But it means Elder is not going to be a prospect for a long time. And Jin, just press R once and your job <laughs> is done. And then just die and then let your team do the damage. Let Chovy do the work. Yeah. Uh, they're committing to this Baron, although you can see, you can tell they're looking for a turn as well. As the angle coming in, that ult from the Sejuani not going to do anything. As here is the turn, Zeka on the flank. His Zeri ultimate is going to be popped as a big engage comes in from that. And a massive oh. follow-up from Delight as they get in the back of that. But look at Toby. He's still full health. He's still turning this one around alongside Akeen. And now it's going to be Zeka against Toby. And Zeka with a triple kill already. He is looking to finish this one off. He's got Doran with him as well. The Q timing is off, but it's still a quadra. For one Zekka. down. If you ult Doran, it does basically nothing. Uh oh. Keep flank. This is from Zeka. He is so fed right now. He is so gigantic, and they're engaging on Terexi. I mean, they have a huge amount of damage, but it's Terexi, guys. Is the engage for the light not that great? Actually, doesn't get to the back line. Pays is totally fine, and the fight is broken up here. Humble like Esports do not find the angle, and Gen G 
they turtle up and they win this one in a big way. Two kills already. And you see the difference in this situation. You know, they didn't have Doran and Zekka flanking there. It was basically just Zekka. And the Azir turret had so much value in that situation. It gave Gen.G a position to back off to, a position of safety to retreat into. And you can see Zekka was so hesitant about diving in. Once again, the team fights are so down to the wire uh -oh. in this game. They're trying to get this dragon, and they yeah, they give it up. They just don't have the time. And yes, they're mobile, they'll get away, but this is a thanks for the leash moment as they go from Baron to the Cloud Drake, and now Genji have three Cloud Drakes stacked up in this game. In that last fight, as Chovy, I suppose, stacking the wave as much as they get in melee range, so. And even that is not great. So they're going to keep all three. Doesn't get to play the game. And Such a good job of just checking these flanks consistently. Yeah. And here we go. This turret should fall. I mean, there's not even minions in range, just the Void Pups. And that will be enough. They will take down the top inhibitor. To kill Pays. And then Genji so quickly cheered around on a Viper. Yeah. Lens is going to flash away. Now the counter engage does come in, but that's a wreck side. That's not the target. You guys want to hit it now? The Seri is going insane mode. They way overextend in this fight. And now Gen G are going to pay the price as Pays loses his GA. And one small mistake, one mistimed engage, and immediately Hamal IV Sports are back on top. What was going through the heads? Oh, Doran snipes Chovy here. This oh, dude, boy. They, they might actually be able to get so. Could they even end here? They're gonna it's try. He could just stop Chovy recalling forever. Well, even if they don't get the end, they will take the mid inhibitor. And Doran absolutely will tank up this turret. You think he, he cares? <laughs> he doesn't take damage. He does not care at all. Oh, oh. great timing. Yeah, he doesn't have the knockup now. And uh, so Doran's just gonna TP in. They're going for the end as they dive on a Chovy. And he's on you as he stays alive. Zekka's taking the turret. They can't take out the tank is here. Doran doesn't do enough damage. I don't think they can end now. Uh, they're going to try. The Nexus is bare. They are hitting it. And the Zeri just does too much. The knockup comes in oh. from Doran and denies the engage. And that is game number one. And the Jace coming. You know, I think Jace has a good amount of value here because it's not a very long range composition from Gen G. Obviously, Jace is a pick that can be super volatile. It is a good laning matchup into Aatrox, but if you miss you know, 100 health, uh, really sizable 10 AD as well. So it has been such a strong start that it's kind of surprising. Wait a second, Void Bub. And might have to flash himself. Kind of an awkward spot here, 3v2, in favor of Gen G. As Doran's just going to go in, but he has to flash away now. He takes a massive amount from the Aatrox. And now Peanut's going to flash out of here. Full set, you know, every single match. And I feel like when one team has an Aurelian Soul and they're the ones who are kind of controlling the game, that's not a great feeling. Yeah, I feel like mid-tier one is just so much more impactful. Yeah. Um, well, they're going to get it. Drifted, drifted down to mid. Once again, just waiting to see who's going to get the flip on this Drake. It's Canyon in position as well, but it is going to go the way of Canyon. Peanut in a bit of trouble now. Has to use the Crescent Guard. And Keen is isolated. They take him out. First blood at 19. Well, it's not huge priority. They will take the kill in that situation. Canyon's got to be a bit careful. <laughs> Can't dash over those rocks, but they are setting up here. Jovi over the wall. Here he comes. But now a double bubble comes in from Lahans. Getting pretty far forward though, and now Viper is just going to isolate Jovi and immediately punish him for that aggressive play. Yeah, just a step too far there. The bubble <laughs> from the hands was fantastic, but no one was in the position. It isn't super easy for them as well into the Talia trying to engage. Uh, Viper's going to dash into them, and yes, he cleanses, but I think he's just dead. Yeah, that was kind of confusing as the limit. Del Delight might be writing it down in a notebook, like cannot dash in 1v4 and kill them all. It's timing to go in on this one. Let them have it. They maybe try to steal the canyon, but don't fight. Yeah. I mean, they have control of this brush here with the ocean rift, right? They're going to throw out an ult as well, just kind of half-heartedly. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Uh, Peanut still in the pit, waiting for this one. And the engagement oh. hits just disappears in that back line. It's now over the wall. Here comes Viper. Can't really lock down a target. Even gets pooped back by the wall. But they're still on the chase. They should be able to get Canyon. They also picked up that Drake, of course. As Canyon, you're, you're not going anywhere. He will go down. And they should give this kill over to Viper, which they do. That's two kills over to the side.
And the thing is, we talked about like the, the difficulties engaging for both sides. Uh-oh. Uh, now there's rocks on the ground. They're just being poked over the wall. Pays dashes over the rocks, immediately dies! You can't afford to make the mistake, but now Viper, he's gonna do it as well himself! But still, gonna go the way of Hummel IV Sports here is Toby. Oh. A little damage. Zeka did there to the hens, and then a shock blast. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a kill! It's a dead Nami! The and Nami. it's right at the last moment of his recall. Yeah, like Zek is hitting the hens, and Doran's like, no, I'll show you damage. I'll show you what damage is. Uh, he is just doing so much work here. This, this whole playoffs, honestly, you know, for a player who had such a standout. Oh, they see him too. And somebody has to find this, and the damage from the Jace is still incredible as the wall comes in. Zekka gonna be interrupted. He doesn't have his flash, but he stays alive with the help of his support. But now the Aatrox turns it around. Keen frontlining, and now you can't really get away from this dragon as Doran will go down, and JG gonna ace them on the Baron. It's an absolute massacre, and Hunter like Esports thought they had the edge, thought they had the setup, and they completely butcher it. A fantastic punish from Gen G, they get all five members and are rewarded with the Baron. You know, accelerated this game yet. The momentum's really picked up and... Uh-oh, uh -oh. Peanut! He is going to get that Crescent Guard off. That's a lot of damage. Mark Treads certainly helping out, but yeah, he is going to have to back away. Yeah, he's kind of hitting the point where Crescent Guard doesn't like bolster your tankiness. It's the only reason <laughs> uh, He nearly just got... Annihilate. As now you see even the Aurelian Soul, Jovi getting in on this one. Viper slowed down forever. And the push is continuing. No inhibitors broken just yet, but Gen G looking to use the last 50 seconds to take out this middle inhibitor. All IP Sports saying, okay, that's not a huge deal. We'll just let that one go. And we see how much the All IP Sports trying to find an angle in. I mean, look how ridiculous this is. What are you supposed to do? Just leave. Just leave. There's nothing you can do. All IP Sports has. Yeah, you definitely can. And he's. Okay, they're going to throw out an alt here, Viper. And he's going to have to dash away. Delight nearly loses his life, just flashes over the wall. It's now Keen with his World Ender, trying to get something going here on the Zekka. That's Peanut going to be frozen up. And how will IP Sports are just on the run, but it's so difficult to run away from the Aurelian Soul as Peanut. He's going to get knocked up. The Crescent Guard will not save him forever. And this is exactly the team fight that Gen Z were looking for. They get that frontliner, and they're looking for more of the base. And I feel like it's going to be so hard for them to defend from this position. Keen is threatening mid, but the Aurelian Soul just throws down the E, and what can you do? What is the response? Big With the Aurelian Soul as well. They're going to get vision. They don't have smite. Will they take the fight? I think they kind of just have to send it. As Zekka, he took that literally. He's going to send himself into that back line and is going to survive. It. They got the Baron, and they got out as Peanut in a very awkward spot here. He does have the Crescent Guard, so he will survive. But look at this, Viper is just going to go down. He immediately gets melted. And that's two kills that will go the way of Gen.G. Doran. Desperation as he jumps into the two of them. And it's just not going to matter. Gen.G. looking to potentially put the cap on this one. And Honor Life Esports got to be thinking back to that Baron play where they really ended up fumbling their advantage. It has cost them dearly, and now Genji should just be able to end on my Esports and try and make a desperation play, but I don't think they have a good chance. <laughs> uh, yep, definitely a desperation play. Genji looks like they have done it. No knock up here on the Joby. And uh, yeah, they're just trying their best, but this Nexus will go down as we are all tied up one to one. We have a series on our hands. A lot of people are anti Jax in the jungle. I think Jax in very specific circumstances is good. I think it's good in his Zinzao. Like, you could bully out Zinzao early. The Counter-Strike is very effective against him because his CC is... Right. Um, yeah, you really need that bin. You need it. I and even early on, I think even when you do get the Leandries, it's not really going to matter because I think the sustain get, is too high. I think you kind of need, like, Leandries, Oblivion, all. Um, he's going for the kill. Flash on in, and Kane is in a lot of trouble. He is going to flash away, and now it's Doran in a lot of trouble as the knockup does not come in, and Keen picks up first blood. Peanut is here. Should have this. Yeah, I mean, there's no flash, so just flash on in, and there it is. Three hits. He had the Grievous Wounds available, and you kind of fed it to him. Yeah. It was uh, an overreach, you could say, from the side of Doran, and Keen immediately does turn that one around. This one 
can smite it. Canning gonna pick it. on vision from Home Life Esports. Knock up here on the light, essentially just zoning them away, but he is gonna get the lick down on. Yeah, I think this pick is gonna continue to be relevant throughout. Oh, they are uh, uh, got very dead. Everybody is here, and Keen's just gonna equalize with the wave, he knows he's dead. Kale will go over to Peanut. You know. What if they just farmed instead? Who, who needs 80 carries? What if they just funnel kills on the light? Yeah. If you like. Let's go for that. Um, Viper is fine. Doran is taking everything, and this time with the Ignite is actually struggling and gets flashed on. Ults in, and oh! now they turn it around. You've got to be kidding me. Peanut here again. Fine. It's like kind of okay. Uh, this dragon looks to be going the way. Canyon going to hop over the wall, though, and it does go to Canyon. Just slaps that one down with this W, but now this fight going heavily the way of Humble and Esports Priest is barely gonna get away, but lands will go down first. The light's still on the chase here. Gets the slow on a canyon, but that's a Jax. As the flash on in with the charm is huge from the side of Zekka. That's a second kill as Doran even gonna zone Toby away from the fight. I love how this composition plays. It's so fun seeing the Viari. As soon as Zekka starts getting kills, the chase down potential is there. The setup was good. The dragon's taking. And he knows it. A good sixth sense on these things, honestly. Yeah, I mean, it was way too powerful for <laughs> the gold that it was. Uh, that it cost. As Slow comes down with the zap, and Peanut, he's so tanky, he is going to go down, but the devourer comes through with delight. He's in a really rough spot himself. Pina now trying to flash away. He is going to. Jovi does not have vision of this, and he's oh. going to get flashed on. No flash here for Jovi himself. Just waiting for that cooldown to see if he can get away. And just the the edge of that one is going to hit away the Zeka, but it's not going to be enough as Zoran will follow up with his own ult. And that tried to step away from it, but didn't catch it. But it didn't matter in the end. Brexide just so good for chasing down targets with that ultimate. Uh, tower picked up. His dragon's uh, up now. Oh, whoa. Chovy TP'd right in front of that one, but at least Cannon is there. The equalizer is huge value. Forces out the devour already, and now Delight's in a little bit of a struggle. But the Lahen's also getting super low, ticking away. And Doran follows over the top as Canyon trying to get away. And Chovy looking for the angle, but he gets by ultimate and immediately they do take out the Jinx though. As the Zonius comes out and Chovy, he wants to carry this fight all by himself. And it looks like he might just be able to create the space for Paze on the chase as the flash of He has to be the most impactful member to give Gen G some hope. And here it's on the Zeri. Oh, a play to be made here, maybe, as uh, we're going deep into that back line. Once again, the four-man into four-man knockup. You've got to be kidding me. They're going to take out one of them. Actually, two is now the front line is being burned here. By Keen picks up two kills by himself, but the back line was accessed the entire time by Doran and Delight. And Viper was untouched the entire fight. Just such a beautiful engage. I feel like Honor Life Esports playing as a unit, the engages they find. Just a treat to watch, honestly. And once again, it looked like he was a little bit hesitant. It looked like Pina was deciding whether to be able to like get something going on their side with their engage, yeah. and then they not. Two bruisery AP champs here on the side of Gen G. Doran's eating some damage, but he's Rex side. Delight's really the one. He goes way too deep. We've seen so many fight this, and I mean. You still have nice pick potential. You take someone out immediately. Maybe you get it going. Also, a potential for the steal as Equalizer doesn't do much. They get in the back line. It does go the way of Cannon and paces over the wall. They go super deep for this one as Toby goes deep himself, but Viper gets away. Zek over the wall with the flash and will pick up a second kill. Viper on the chase here. Uh, and maybe this is where Genji can get a big resurgence. They got a lot of gold from the previous passages of play. Oh, Delight. Oh, Delight. He's going to flash away. The Equalizer doesn't do much, but now Toby gets the Devour. Does Delight saves him for a little bit, but the dive is still there. Everybody on the side of Genji getting under that turret. As now the turn trying to come out here, but there's not a lot of damage left on the side of Humble Esports, and Pays is running rampant in that back line. Zekka is barely going to get over the wall with this. Rush it down. And Peanut still could try to send it, but I think that's pretty risky, and they're just going to let it go. Genji going tanky, and they have double mountain. It feels really bad. Uh, unless oh. Toby just stands on choppers, but the turnaround is coming in, and now Doran is in a lot of trouble. He's going to be burned down as nobody else. Uh, Zeka? <laughs> well, at least he has the Banshees, I guess. And now just going to ult into the Nautilus, and Toby finds an angle, only hits the top. Kenji is so low. A chance here for Amelie Esports, but it is delight to go down first. The flash on in. Viper doesn't have any more summoners. He's going to go down, and the chase of this comp from Genji is enough to pull them ahead.
just crazy with how favored this game was towards Hunter Life Esports. The team fight setup from Gen G has really just been so good. Baiting HLE in in that situation, and now it's two members alive. Doran is sporting soon. They're going to have to try and stop the game from ending here and now. Zekka, I think he needs his ult to actually. Oh, he's going to get the smite down. Will Peanut another turn, and then four man knockoff comes in, gives them a chance to pull this game back. You've got to be kidding me once again. Another charm is going to come in and hit base, and they clean them up entirely in the base. Just. And they execute it. As here we go, Zekka on in. Very nice hook here from the hands into the wall as Doran goes in and the rocket hits the front line and it just looks like Doran is unkillable, but he eventually goes down and out. Toby is in the back line. A very awkward devour as Viper. He gets a reset, but he has no summoners and he doesn't have the damage. But now a front line for Zekka, a chance, but the divide comes in and Toby stands tall alongside a pace. They do the damage in the pit and that might just be enough as they take down the mountain now. And it just feels like Honor Life Esports, Chovy, they're so bulky. I mean, even Zeri has such high base stats. But like, Zeri is the squishiest target on this Gen.G roster. The thing is, this seems good, but Elder's up in 40 seconds. It's like, you're forcing Gen.G back. Well, yeah, you're going to force them back. You're going to force a fight, I would imagine. I mean, they could even look at the Nexus turrets, but now back's coming in. Now Life Esports don't want to overstep. Toby looking for an angle now. Oh, look at the hens. Yeah, he's thinking about it, surely. As is Toby. Delight looking pretty, looking pretty tasty right now. Look at him trying to just hobble his way out of here, and the equalizer gonna slow him down even more. Delight though is on the top can as flash forward here from Keen, trying to just get that damage in. And now Doran, he gets a knockout, but there's no follow-up here. Ults in, flashes away. And now a chance here for Toby gets in, gets a sweep, doesn't hit much, and now he has to go into his own. Yes. And now Peanut over the wall. He's not gonna get over the wall! Not gonna get over the wall. Maybe a, a good thing, actually. <laughs> See? Yeah, long wall there. You can tell they want to yeah. fight, but like Baron's up, Elder's up. You have to make something happen. A charm and a chance, and Canyon gets in, hits the stun onto everybody, and that's gonna be the end of the Jinx, and maybe just the end of the game, as now four kills come in for the Zeri. And a chance maybe to push the top wave as Pays will go up here. Such a scrappy game. You know, I was ready to call it in the mid game. I felt like Hunter Life Esports had firm control, but this one, not only is it a huge win for Gen G, but such a tilter for Hunter Life Esports. They must have felt that game was completely in control. And then suddenly, everyone in Gen G starts building tank, and they're all just unkillable. Get him out in Seoul, build some tank items, and win some team fights as a death ball. They do exactly that. Gen Z gonna take a 42 and a half minute game here as game three in the series and take the lead two to one. Yeah, I mean, a pretty solid pick for him. You know, I feel like we've had some pretty adventurous, pretty interesting drafts that have come out so far this series. I feel like this is possibly one that's been just a bit more you know, that is a very awkward spot for the ward to be in. Doran! Oh no. And um, yeah, he just swapped back to his gun as well. The Q is going to land here already. Flash and one more hit would do it. There it is. First blood given over to Canyon, who was given R5 Lee Sin and is looking to make it work for him. And How did he know? Level 2 Lehens is here in mid, and now Zekka is dead. Lehens making a play early on. The shock isn't going to take that much damage, so Lehens. Can I play with free abandonment? He's got no flash here. Yeah, turn around. They want to punish Lehens for the play he just made, and they will, in fact, do that. And they'll even give the skill over to Viper. So, bit of a trade back. Canyon, meanwhile, is going to take the Void Grubs. We're back. We're back in it, you know. Hong Life Esports never going to give up. So, they're here to counter. There is about to be a big shebang in the top lane. It's a 4v4 as now Peanut going to be dragged over the wall. Does flash away and Toby not able to get over either. And now another wall is coming in. Is Zekka looking to join under the turrets? Have Gen.G gone too far? The answer looks like yes for now, but Toby going to sweep up Doran and at least trade it back. And now just, just stay far on far for now until the TP is about to be available. I think Keen's trying to keep him engaged so he doesn't have a chance to TP. Obviously, Cassante can very easily interrupt it. Oh. Keeping it leashed is Canyon. He says, okay, give it a try. <laughs> and the dragon to be burst down. And no, it goes the way of Canyon. Have to win on Jace to earn the right to play Cassante. Yep. You know, Keen got his Rumble win in. That's why he's allowed to play Cassante. Ooh, 
Oh, uh, baited in. Keen taking multiple turret shots. And now, do they have the damage is the question. Peanut not going to continue. They see Canyon. Uh, Peanut's here, but he doesn't have ult. They are going to commit to this. The flashing gaze from Lahens sails totally wide as Toby. Looks like he's going to stop him from getting over, but it doesn't quite matter as now Canyon in a bit of trouble himself as well. It's just going to be two kills to the Zeri who is going to high roll a good soul on the back of this. And it's Ocean. Darn already chucked uh, low, and Keen has TP. Yeah, look at this TP war on the bottom left. It's going to be massive if he ever TPs. Oh, it's just going to go to Canyon. And now the Wombo comes in a massive sweep from the side of Chovy. And yes, a bit of damage goes back. And the Zeri is surviving. They get a kill onto Canyon. But can Viper do it alone is really the question. Dorian getting in there. They're taking out Chovy. They take out the carry. And now Keen getting in there on the Cassante. Dorian in the back line. He redeems himself. And Keen, he dodges so many of the Qs from the Zeri. It's not even funny. But eventually, he just a great time uh, sweeping Jinxes. Uh, by the way, we do have Doran in a lot of trouble, as does the power of the Kaisa, I suppose, gets in on a Doran, who is once again bullied. The rest of the team was not running that direction. Um, I don't actually know, but no, he didn't. Um, and Ocean Drake is about to spawn. Meanwhile... It's understandable, and especially a singular out, uh, Ocean Drake this late is not doing much for anyone. Yeah. What is it? 2% uh, max health every five seconds. It's a health every five seconds. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, even worse. Um, yeah. Not feeling great. But uh, on the side of Gen G, they're going to feel great. Uh, yes, they won't be able to spawn in these parts just looking for a pick at this moment in time. You can't do the Baron this early, but he's standing on a ward, and now he's, even though it's Kasante, 5v1 is pretty good odds for the side of Homolite Esports. That's a free pick on the Keenan's number when it comes to smites, but if they can start a fight, they still have ults available. Yeah, they're going to look to turn, and Toby gets away from that one. Peanut taking a huge amount of damage, actually, but Lahan's kind of left out to dry as the turn does come in, but they're only hoping for one kill. Toby still trying to run. He's going to have to fight away the Talia on the games and stuff. I mean, there were opportunities, surely, for the Jinx, but not quite the case. It's now Lahan's. He's going to get the grab here on a Viper and maybe a chance, but now the peel comes through. Toby's got some soldiers forward, but they want to burst him down 100 to 0. They don't quite do it, though. And the damage comes through, but look at the damage. Toby gets a three man sweep on in and just turns the fight, takes out the Zeri. Down goes Delight, down goes Doran, and Zekka is alone. The stopwatch timing is so good, but Toby eventually does go down, but it's traded. Get Gen G, they take a huge fight in the mid lane. I just can't believe he keeps playing these fights, it feels like so flawlessly every time. Finding the key top. No thanks, not blocking that Talia damage. <laughs> and now it's second Ocean Drake of the game, and both teams are here. It's a 4K gold lead for Gen G. He's trying to make a play, Delight gonna be hooked out of his dash, down he will go. Gen G looking to stack even more. Good smite from Canyon, just in case. And now they're on soul points. Yep. They've been stacking up these dragons and... Oh, might look for something here. Yeah, I mean, they scanned out the vision. Lahens looks dead. Oh, the hook is incredibly awesomely buffered, but eventually Vi just presses R. And they take... Uh, hmm. Well, well he, he was tower. a difficult ability. Second tower of the game. Yeah, well, well Delight is chunked out with no support item. And this is Ocean Soul. Not come on a Toby, though. He's going to get stunned up. And the Zonyas will have to be burned. Didn't quite take that much damage. And now the sweep comes in. Chovy gets it done once again. And Viper is just out of the fight. Gets the R pressed on him, the depth charge. And now Pace finding the angle. Gets into the back line. Viper is so incredibly low as the hook comes in. And finally, just finally, he will go down as Gen G, the clean ace in the bottom lane. And you know, and 2,000 kills. Why not? Perfect timing. Perfect timing, honestly. And this has been a back and forth series, but looks like it's going to come to the end. And, you know, I'm just going to say it. I, I think this could have even been a 3 0 for Honor Life Esports if it wasn't for Chovy putting the entire series on his back and just <laughs> saying, I am the best player in the LCK. Witness me. He certainly did that today, and Gen G have done that as well in the LCK right now. Three to one is the score line. They make it into the grand finals, and they qualify for 